Welcome to hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is the day. Of another day, of another day that we call Friday. Anybody being said, what's gonna be? Well, hopefully, variety, hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as safe in the world we're living in, and knocking down doors, and making your dreams come true, and practicing ignore. Now I want to share something with you on this too. Basically, we saw the R. Kelly situation that kicked off. Now the sad part about it, I really don't want to talk about that too much because I'm already coming out of a deep depression. And I'm trying to find my way back to you um, through a lot that I've been through mentally with the losing my mother. And I'm trying to get back to you on a mentally level without the stress of the internet as far as social media and all the negativity that it pushes on you. Now, if you're the kind of person like me, you're already going through something mentally. We don't need nothing extra added on to it. Those are layers. And the more layers we have on us, we're no good. So they did a documentary stuff and reference to R. Kelly and stuff. In case you watch this stuff, make sure you put that in the comments of what you feel about it. Maybe myself, I was sad, but the sad part about it is they found this video about a year ago about him peeing in a girl's mouth and stuff like that, or peeing a little girl and all that kind of stuff like that. And basically, they didn't arrest him. He got off. <clears throat> then they got all these women up here saying that what had happened to them and stuff like that. They're all black. Surprise, there was no white ones, but they were black. And they were very young and stuff, but basically people knew what he was doing. Like people in this circle, that's why it's that old saying go, um, the yes people, you know, the yes people, God, people go out, they will get the girls, they will pick up the girls. So it seems like everybody was accomplished for destroying these girls' lives. And that's what he did. He bettered himself and he destroyed other people's lives. Allegedly, that's basically what he did. So all these girls had dreams and goals and stuff like that and what they wanted to be and it, he ended up stopping it and a lot of them are not successful as far as Sparkle, she's the only one that came out of the as far as I know that became more successful than the rest. But the sad part even more so, Aaliyah was only 12 years old, what, what's it 12? I think it was 12 um, years old when he met and stuff and got married at 15 or something like that. Anyway. They forged her name, got her to sign up. So like I said before, yes, people. They all set in to help him accomplish. It's like a call. And I don't know what he was, he clearly was paying them enough money to get them to do these things as far as being in his accomplishment. And to me, my personal being, opinion, that's no more than human trafficking. You know, you, you trick people into different things, you got them trafficking and stuff like that, but he didn't, allegedly, he didn't have all those boys run through it, but he just ran through all these young girls and stuff, the manipulation of their mind. By being young, by them being gullible, he won them over by being fun, and then at the end of the day, he tricked them. Now, you have the people signing on saying, well, they're going to blame the victim, because that's what we do in this world. It took like 60 women for people to finally um, arrest Bill Cosby. And this is really sad when it comes to the women in the world. When a woman cries weak, or a woman is a, um, a sexual assault, and I'm saying, oh, he did that to them. But when a woman is a sexual assault, and basically some of the kids were underage, so he basically just called rape. When a woman is a sexual assault, it is not taken serious. She has to go way beyond, even shed blood, before she can uh, finally be considered being taken seriously. Now, me, myself, I'm a... Um, this is totally all from R. Kelly, but myself, I told you before, I've been jumped on six times from being raped. I was not raped successfully. It's not funny. And I was getting my ass handed to me. And it had to be the grace of God, the reason why I'm still here before you, because I was getting my, I'm not going to sit back in front and act like I was so tough, because it was fucking, I was getting fucked up. It's, and I didn't know people get raped during the daytime, and this is how I got raped. Well, I didn't get raped, but this is how it happened. You know how you carry your pocketbook, and I talked about this before. You carry your pocketbook in one hand, and you know how you do them shows, so you got your back legs, and you're pulling it, and you're pulling it. Both of your arms are covered. 
Now here it is the man that's been in gym all day working out. His muscles are all strong. Here he is, you want estrogen and stuff. Your muscles are all weak and stuff. He comes in and now remind you getting hit. And then it's you know, they're taking out your clothes. Now in your mind, before I got this way, I was, you know, gay first. So I'm thinking of my pocketbook. I'm thinking you about to rob me. You just don't grab my pocketbook first because it's my keys, my car. You know, I have to get home. But no, your dick is out, he's erect and sitting his pants down. And the reason why I didn't tell or didn't go to the police because I felt as though they were gonna blame me. And I feel as though it's the same when it comes to women and stuff like that. When you, this is the problem that we have. When we sit back and we watch how women come to the forefront and explain how their experiences as far as being read and stuff, and we watch how the, the world works, we become silent because we know how this world works. We have to go through the whole, well, what did you have on? What did you wear? You did something. They victim blame you and said they make it seem like it's all your fault. And that's what they've been doing to you mentally. Now, you already got hurt. You already been beat on by the, um, the perpetrator. But now here it is. You being, you want someone to help you, and now they're beating on you even more. To the point you feel like, you know what? I just feel, just forget about it. And that's what a lot of times people don't even bother to come forth. And with me, myself, I didn't bother to come forth. And I've never experienced this type of thing until I became an Uber Land and stuff like that. The only thing that was was I became very successful from that is only because it would be the grace of God. And I always ask the girls and stuff like that, and I said, well, how do you walk around with dresses and stuff and you out here by yourself? I've never been raped. They say, yeah. But it's like a, a love off to show me I've been raped before, baby. Yeah, I've been raped on it, the streets before. I'm like, and you okay with this? No, I'm not okay with it. And it's one girl that got raped and stuff. He even affected her and gave her HIV. She's now dead and stuff. But before she died, I'm not going to say too much about that. I could say she's going out, but I don't want to see do with it for the person I'm going to hear. Anyway, before she died, she got revenge back on men for, and it's not the first girl I know that done this, and I said it's right, it's wrong, but she's also a girl that basically caught HIV and stuff and AIDS, I guess mobile and AIDS in her case. They get revenge on the guys. Now, this is the sad part about it. They get revenge on the guys, that's the ones that chase after us. They get revenge on them by having unsafe sex with them. Because not to the when it comes to men that are straight, we call that my word, they like to not use protection. And the girl already knows what she got. So basically, we slide in there. She's like, okay, baby, go in on it. She ain't going to stop it. Now, the bad part about that is he's taking that record home to his wife. He's taking this home to his girlfriend or his boyfriend. Or he's taking it back home to the next girl that's you that he's calling up from your ad to give it to you. And I'm saying that that's how all the girls do it. But I knew two girls that did it. One was Spanish and one was black. And they definitely turned one. They both did. And I watch guys come back. Because people come back and tell me certain things. Stuff, like, especially guys who got infected by some girls I even knew. Um, I'm like, yo, listen. They said, Raven, you know, she gave me this. And I said, really? That's how I found out that she was sick. You know, because I didn't even know. A lot of times I didn't even I, First of all, I don't go around asking girls, are you HIV positive? I don't ask men that. But some of the people feel comfortable telling me different things. And I would listen. Now, when it came to the girls, they didn't tell me. Another girl came and told me, or another guy came and told me. But the point of this situation is, if you're infected this stuff, do not affect these men. Make them use protection. Make you use protection. Y'all are supposed to... I shouldn't even be giving this type of lesson. Yo, you're supposed to learn this shit at 13 years old. But use protection if you do anything with these people you know you already don't know. But anyway. So the point of the matter is that that's why a lot of girls do not come forward, a lot of guys do not come forward, because of the fact of the matter, we feel like we're going to get blamed. And it's, even when it comes down to RKMZ, I had to unfriend a lot of people that was taken up to him, still, still defending him, still saying it was okay. Oh, well, you know what, they want to blame somebody, they want to blame somebody, but yet that been his dead mother, yet that been that sister, yet that been that child up there, it'd be the conversation be totally different. The one thing I realized in life, People never see things the same way until it happens to them. Once it happens to them, please hear my story, please hear my story. But when it happens to them, you didn't care, but you want me to care about you. Oh, oh, a hypocrite. Oh, double standard. And that's the kind of world we're living in anyway, because I learned one thing in this world. When you, well, a lot of stuff, but when you do really bad stuff, you're rewarded. When you do good stuff like me, well, I'm not saying I'm good, but, you know, I got my flaws. I ain't molesting the damn body, but... When you do things like me, it's not rewarded. 
when you do bad things and stuff, you get talk shows, you get advances, you get all this other stuff. When you do things like me, we just wither to the back. And people do bad shit, go viral, stuff like that. They go to the top. Look how, look how the world works. Look at how the world works. The president of the United States is basically the one to let you know how the world works. He got through a presidency doing negative things and he made the right to visit, right there their office. Whether they like it or not, he's in there. Anyway, like this video before, I love you. If you check it's on Surviving R. Kelly and it's going to be a part two. We're going to keep following and keep track. So I'm going to wrap up at the top. If you follow me, I'll follow that. And also, whew, I want to thank all the guys that basically give me donations and stuff like that because you see my work, you see my everything, you see me trying to do so much positivity. So I thank you and I, you know who you are. You definitely um, have helped me and stuff like that. I want to tell you thank you because you didn't have to. Even if it was only $5, you helped me. God bless you. Thank you. May prosperity come when you did one. Hope you get back abundantly. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. Follow me or follow me back. There's also a PayPal up to the top. I'm just saying. But anyway. Have a safe weekend. And of course, at the bottom, I want you to feel about this. R. Kelly, surviving R. Kelly. Too many people finally come out and try to turn their foot. And still, 2019, they get attacked. But when you're one of the attackers, let me know. Like, subscribe, share. Let you all love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain. All right now. Come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. Woo! Like I said before, please subscribe to my channel. At the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I will follow you back. How do you feel about this? Do you feel as though still divided because a celebrity basically get away with murder? Back in the day, it was okay, but today it's not. Let me see your comments. Love you. Love you.